All right, folks, we are headed into the woods again. There's the yupper. Old fancy pants. We let old fancy pants out back. <laughs> so, she can't go with us. There's the uh, May apples. Lots of May apples up. And uh, they haven't bloomed yet. So, uh, they'll get a bloom and get a little fruit. And if we're real, real, real lucky, we might get a fruit. <laughs> but usually the varmints get them before we do. Or the coons and possums. And yep. You're going to have to probably go ahead of me. All right. We're going down the hill. Lee has found some more morel mushrooms. And this time he found some big ones. So we're going to go down here and check them out. Right, we made it down to the bottom of the hill. And there's the house up there. This is the bottom of the hill behind our house. This is where he was back here looking before I got home from work and found some pretty good sized ones. But he left some so I could find some. No, I didn't see that one. I'll admit it. <laughs> so there's one. I can be blind. And it is poking through the leaves here. So we're going to uncover it and pinch it off and put it in my bag so that's not real big like some of them he has found today back here i'm gonna put this in my bag and we're gonna look some more okay we are down here looking we've got animals following us so we're having to be careful because we gotta watch where we step, and then we gotta watch them or they'll be stepping on them. There's a jewel weed coming up. There's a jewel weed. A bunch of them down here. Oh, two right by the tree. That's <laughs> that's unusual. How oh, weird. Mm. Right there. Alright, I'm gonna pick them. Quick kitty. Alright, and as we said before, we put them in these mesh bags so that some of the spores will fall out on the ground down here. And uh, any bugs usually kind of fall out. So, uh, these are just orange bags. So, we, uh, still looking for mushrooms, but we found a couple of, uh, small young wild lettuce. Uh, we're gonna keep an eye on, come back and get later on. And there's one. So, we'll be coming back to get them later when they get bigger. There is so much down here already we could talk about. I'm seeing all kinds of things that we could talk about that we'll have to do a different video on. But, um, yeah, you just uh, you just get out here and you're looking for one thing, but you see so many and you just don't have uh, time to do it all. Um, but I am going to get some more of those trout lilies. And there's some really nice big... Um, um, purple dead nettle out here. Big ones. I may come get some of those and dry them. These are big. I'm not sure I would like them in a salad because they're so big, but I would like to dry them and use them in some of my uh, pills in my medicine because they're good for so many things. I could dry them and, and powder them and put them in my pills. And we've already found quite a few that uh, some of them are pretty big size. We're just getting all we can get. There's a big one. See that big one he's got right there. And, I found and a, a weird double, <laughs> double stem one head. <laughs> what do you call that? What's Siamese. Some Siamese. We found a Siamese twin one. Anyway, that's what we're getting today. Some more. So far. So far, so we're headed back around this way. We're still just right behind the house here. Headed back around this way. 
So there you go. Walked on back here to the creek. We're still looking for mushrooms. We found quite a few, but uh, I walked on back to the creek. We've had a lot of rain lately. I want to see how <clears throat> high the water is. It's up pretty good for us, but it's been way higher. It's come out of the banks before, but um, this is still pretty high for us because it's usually down real low, like in the summertime or when we hadn't had much rain, it'd be down real low. So uh, it is flowing some from the rain. It looks pretty. Okay, folks, so I know you're probably getting tired of seeing us hunt mushrooms, <laughs> but that's just what we've been hunting lately, and we're just taking you along as we do what we normally do. And what we have gotten lately is mushrooms. So um, today, I decided to try to do something a little different. Besides the more real mushrooms that you're going to see in this video, I wanted to get something, um, something else, something a little different in here. And um, I knew that the wild mustard was up. And um, I know that my dad used to get wild mustard. Now, all he used was the greens. He would get the wild mustard greens and uh, cook them down just like any other green, like turnip greens or something like that. But I recently saw a very good uh, uh, cooking channel um, that's the Turkish Lady. I will link in the description below and, um, and you can check out her channel. It is called um, Country Life Vlog. And uh, she doesn't, doesn't do any talking on there. She just shows cooking different things. And a lot of it is uh, wild things. And, and um, <clears throat> so I've been watching her for a while. Um, I don't watch every video. I watch the ones that interest me. And just as I was thinking about this um, wild mustard greens, she had a video pop up just the other day that showed some ways that she uses a wild mustard. And I thought, oh, that is awesome. I've never seen it used in all of those ways. Like I said, my dad used to get it and just cook the greens down. But she had so many ways that she does it that um, it really intrigued me to get some and try out some of her uh, uh, some of what she done with it and uh, one thing I'm gonna do is make a tea out of the yellow flowers and she done that on this video uh, like I said I'll post that video in the description below you go watch it for yourself and see what all she does with these so here's a few I found and um, this is kind of up in the front of the property and animals don't come up here a whole lot uh, they do some, but uh, I'm going to go ahead and take these, wash them good, and use them. Especially because these are kind of smaller and young, and I really want to get some of these younger um, um, stems. So we're going to get some of this. And so there you go. Got a little bit, a little bit at a time. Sometimes you'll see a whole field full of them, and I don't want to drive far enough to go hunt for a whole field. So I'm just going to pick what I can here and there for this video today. Okay, there's our total two-day haul of morels. This is the ones we got yesterday that I already washed up in the bowl. And then these are the ones we got down there just now, today. And I'm going to put them in another bowl and wash them up good. And I'm going to have me a few tonight with my supper. And then tomorrow I'm going to take a bunch of them and fry them up and take my mama some. So uh, there you go. That's our two-day haul of morel mushrooms. All right, folks, I'm back at my kitchen. And uh, I'm fixing to clean up these uh, wild mustard greens and separate the leaves from the flowers and the stems. 
so I'm going to show you what um, over the couple done over at Country Life Vlog and uh, just kind of show you what they've done. Uh, I'm not going to cook the stems tonight. Um, I don't know that I'll even cook the greens tonight, but I'm definitely going to do the tea and tell you how that tastes. Okay, I've got that all separated. I've got my water going for my tea over here. You can hear it. <laughs> and uh, so, <clears throat> I'll just show you. I've got my flower tops in here, separated from my leaves. And I could boil these leaves and uh, make just some greens, like you do turnip greens. Or I could chop them up, like she did. Uh, she, she made... Uh, she made a uh, salad. She put uh, chopped up uh, mustard greens with <clears throat> tomato and cucumber, onion maybe, yeah, onion, tomato, cucumber, I think that was all, and then made a vinaigrette on it and made a salad. So, I may do that tonight. Uh, she also took the smaller uh, stems uh, not huge stems. There's a couple of huge stems in here that are really tough. Uh, she didn't use those. She used smaller stems. And I have a whole bunch of them here. I could do that, but I'm not going to worry with that tonight. Uh, but she uh, cut them in small pieces, like small lengths, and put them in with her stir-fry meat. She had uh, meat with... Um, I don't remember, onions and some other things, onions and garlic and maybe tomatoes and a meat <clears throat> and uh, made a uh, stir fry and she had these in there. So that was very interesting. Um, I always try to give, if I learn something from someone else, I try to give them credit, especially something like this that I wouldn't have done. So I thought it was very interesting that she chopped some up for salad, chopped up some of the stems and put in with her meat and made a tea. So we're gonna make the tea. I'll tell you what, I'm gonna try something. That's not bad. It's got Oh, I don't know. I can't describe that. But it's not bad at all. It's got a little bit of um, tangy or spicy or peppery. Mm. Can't explain it. Delicious. I could put that in a salad, actually. <laughs> so, <clears throat> back to the point. She had to make her tea... She always has a clear, she makes tea every time. She makes a main dish, and then a side dish, and then a tea. She has a clear teapot so that you can see what all she's doing. I don't. I don't have a clear teapot, but I will show you. So, I've got my little teapot, got my water on. I'm just going to take, like she did, and put a bunch of these flowers that was a stem. That one had a stem. I'm going to take that stem off as far up as I can. Okay. Just flower tops. And put them in your teapot. I don't know if I need all of these. Probably not. I don't think I'm going to use them all. I don't want it to be so strong and bitter. I don't know that it's bitter. I just don't want it to be so strong. I don't like it. So, I use... A little over half. A little over half of those. There they are. Alright. Um, so as soon as this water gets done, I will pour that in there and we'll try that. But I want to say something else. Um, be sure you watch this lady's uh, channel, especially this video um, that I was inspired to do this because of. Um, uh, like it, it will, of course, like I said, be linked in the description below. Please be sure you go watch it. Uh, also, um, I wanted to say that I'm not telling you a whole lot about mustard itself, mustard, wild mustard. There's a lot of benefits to it, and the whole thing is edible. 
the whole top is edible. I've just shown. Um, and, and I want to say that that is the reason me and Lee do foraging videos. We're not here. We're not doing them to be teachers. We don't teach every little thing and every little benefit about a plant. We do wild foraging because we love doing it, but we mostly show it because we want to encourage you to try. We want to encourage people to find out what is growing in your area that you can eat or that is medicinal, usually both, usually things that are edible and medicinal in the wild, both. Um, but we want to encourage that. We want to encourage you to find out what you have in your area and use it and learn it so that you will have it. It's good to do it a little bit now before you really need it because you want to get your body used to having stuff like that. So it's good to learn what you can go out and pick wild, use it a little bit and have your body used to it. There we go. So our main goal is to uh, pique your interest and encourage you to find these things and learn them. Our goal is not necessarily to teach you anything because, you know, we don't know all the benefits ourselves. We might know some of the benefits and we know what to look for and we've positively identified things here but um, but we're not good teachers. So get encouragement from us to go out and learn more. And that's all we're here for. So I've poured my water on here. We're gonna let that steep for a few minutes. Get the lid on here. All right, that is steeping in my little pot. And um, I think I might do just what I said and break up a few of these. I believe I am gonna make a salad with this. So I'm gonna break up some of these. Let me, okay, I want it to angle that down a little so I can show as I go. I am just breaking up these leaves in here. And uh, should've got a bow instead of a pan but I was thinking I might would cook them down for tonight, but I have decided to make a salad instead. And I don't even know what all I have I can put in a salad, but I know I have bok choy and spinach growing, so I could go out and get some bok choy and spinach. And um, onions, I could get some onions. So um, I don't have any tomato or anything like that, but I can make somewhat of a little salad. You can make a salad out of almost anything. <laughs> um, especially, I could get some uh, purple dead nettle and throw in here. We have some chickweed growing. I could get some chickweed out of the, um, I, I probably would get it out of the woods. The chickweed in our woods is so big, uh, it's just beautiful. I'll probably go get some of that. And uh, what else was growing down there? Oh, I've still got some of those uh, trout lilies that we done a video on. If you missed that, go back and watch our uh, walk in the woods that we done the trout lilies. And um, so I have several things I can go round up and put in this salad. And uh, might just come back and show you my salad after I get done with that. Yeah, but I don't want this video to be so long that you won't watch it. So I don't know if I will do that or not. I'm breaking up a few of these stems in here just to have a little crunchy other stuff. Just a little bit. I ain't gonna do too much of it. Do this smaller ones, break them up good. All right, there we go. There's my salad or part of my salad. Okay, uh, it's been long enough for this tea. Now I'm gonna pour me some in here. Wow, look at there. It's yellow. Um, so I'm gonna try it out. I 
put a little sweetener in it, a little honey. It needs a little more honey, but it's not bad. Probably not my favorite tea in the world, but for the nutrients and benefits, you could add a little something else in with it and your honey and probably be delicious. This is not my favorite. I'm just going to be honest here. Very different. It tastes like the mustard greens, like you could imagine drinking the mustard greens. That's about what it tastes like. So it's not my favorite tea I've ever had. <laughs> just going to be honest. A little more honey and I could probably tolerate it. But it's definitely not my favorite tea. But anyway, um, we tried it out, didn't we? So uh, give us a thumbs up, comment, subscribe. And watch us on Thursday nights at 6 Central. And... Um, Go watch the Country Life vlog and see all about uh, making wild food. So, go watch the Country Life vlog and, um, <laughs> and uh, give this a try. You might like it.